Welcome to Grace on Fire Spontaneous Talks. And in my daughter just walked in the room, Asia, my beautiful, amazing, extraordinary, extraordinarily competent daughter. And it happens to be her birthday today. And I was remembering last night, a few years back, I was nine months pregnant and uh, two days late. She was, she was to be born on the 8th of June was her due date. And it was, it was the uh, 10th of June. And I started to get a little antsy in my pantsy. And I, I got this, and, and I was very small. I weighed about 95 pounds when I got pregnant with her. And so I was all baby, pretty much all baby. So I was sticking out really far. And I, 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 why isn't she born yet? Oh, I didn't know if it was a girl or boy. I had no idea because I wanted to find out at the moment of birth what the sex of both my children's. I wanted the surprise. I wanted that to be part of the birth. So when they did the ultrasounds, they, they required them. But I said, don't tell me. Na -na 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 -na. I don't want to hear. Don't tell me if it's a boy or a girl. But I kind of had a, an idea it might be a girl. That's why I had some pink dresses in the closet. And I had some pink diapers. And uh, but anyways. I, someone had told me, do some exercise. And I walked every day. I ran, actually, the first six months of my pregnancy every day. And so I'd, I'd r I walk every day for an hour a day. What more do you want me to do? So I got out the lawnmower. I had a, a half an acre yard at the time. I bought this house when I was 25 years old. And it, had a, it was a beautiful house, four-bedroom house, had an in-ground pool, and a half an acre yard. And I mowed the whole thing. And it's hilly. It was hilly up and down with this two days late and mowed. Didn't help. Baby wasn't born. No baby was coming. And then a couple days later, I mean, we went to Castle Island in Boston. I, I grew up in Boston, Massachusetts. And we're walking around Castle Island. And, and now I'm like four or five days late with, with my this precious baby inside me. And I'm I'm walking around I'm walking around Castle Island and I'm looking at all the mothers with with not just babies. It didn't matter if their child was five, six, ten, twelve, two, three. Any parents I saw, or especially mothers, with a child at hand or children, I just was she got to have her baby. She got to have her baby. How come I can't have mine? How come I'm not going to have mine? How come I can't have my baby? I, I remember myself vividly telling myself, pouting. I, there, was a, there was a thought in my mind. Literally, there was the thought in my mind, even though I stuck out about a mile out, it felt like at least. And I was, just birth was just ready to come. I really had the feeling that she just would never come, or he, or it, or whatever. And as I looked at these children, I, 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 I just felt I was mad. How come they got their children? How come they got their babies? How come they got to have their children, but I don't have mine? And I walked around the Castle Island pouting and talk talking this to myself and seeing all these children that were born and how lucky all these women were that they got to actually give birth to their children. And then on that auspicious and glorious and most profound day, June 18th, my baby was born. And today we are celebrating her 26th birthday. I mean, I was afraid she'd never be born. And here we are 26 years later and this astounding, immensely beautiful, profound woman has blessed my life for 26 years and and I have to say that grace on fire and these spontaneous talks would not be happening without her or without my son or my son-in-law that she is scheduling all the appointments she is copying off all the releases she is creating getting together all the questions She's updating the website. She's updating, creating the spaces on Facebook and a thousand other things that she's doing while she's taking care of her own two children, seven and one, at the same time. So I want to say happy birthday, Asia Joy. 
You are my best friend. You are, if there's any, is, I think all mothers doubt and wonder if they've done a good job all through their life. I mean, even now as my children are grown, but we, we wonder and we worry and it comes through our mind. And it's probably the most important thing that we ever want to do is be a good mother or a good father or whatever we are. We want to be a good parent. And, and like they always say, it doesn't come with a manual and we do the best we can. We all do the very, very best we can. But if, if it's any reflection of what a mother I have been is my two children, my daughter, Asia, and my son, John. Oh, wow. Yes. I need not worry. I need not worry. And I know they're their own beings, and, and, and they would be astounding no matter how I parented them. But to just know that, 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 that the universe and life blessed me with these two children that have been here the entire time supporting Grace on Fire. My son is filming. My daughter is doing all the background stuff that I'm grateful that my baby was also born. I got to have my child born, both my daughter and my son, and that they were not only born but they have lived and flowered and experienced and blessed my life. They are my teachers. They are my most profound teachers on this planet. My most profound teachers. Absolutely, positively. I have learned more from my two children, hands down, than everything else combined. Men are second. Relationships would come in second. But children, you need to learn to become detached. You need to learn to let them go. You need to see the greatness in them. You need to, you need to trust them. You let go and you trust those children and you guide them. Watch out. Because the infinity that shines and animates and expresses through the human being is profound, absolutely profound, and it's staring us in the face, and when we look into those children's eyes, and when my son comes up to me and gives me a hug after I've done a talk and acknowledges me, oh, I, don't, I can't think of anything better in the world than when your daughter hands you the sheet or she calls you and she puts you on course, or she hands you the, the parking ticket that you forgot to pay <laughs> that on the last day before it's meant to double, <laughs> says, Mom, you got to pay this. You know you did something right. You know you did something okay. You did the best you could. But far more than that, I want to just acknowledge Asia and John. I want to wish you happy birthday, my precious angel, my precious beloved, because the day you were born, I fell in love in a way that I could never, ever explain to anybody. And the same with you, John, with my son, John. Having a child, you fall in love in a way that cannot ever be described. And that love lasts a lifetime for all eternity. So happy birthday, Asia, for bringing joy into my life and everyone's life you touch. Thank you. No, oh, thank you. <laughs> she teaches her daughter sign language. She's an astounding mother. Oh, my gosh. I watch her and I just say, oh, boy, your children do. The children do. You, you just, you know, you know that they are just going to go beyond you. They do. That's the nature of life. Your children will succeed you because it is the nature of humanity hopefully somehow as astounding as my parents are and I see my parents and I'm blessed by my parents and who they are but hopefully I can take that up a level for humanity in some way and I see my children's already have I already see it 
And so it may look very different than my way. But thank you, God. Thank you, God. You don't need any more than one of me. <laughs> so, but we're all together. And we all have our individual expression. And I am grateful for the individual, profound expression of my children. And happy birthday, Asia Joy. And thanks for working all day on your birthday. She'll be editing this, so she'll hear it. She's hearing it now, but she gets to hear it again. I love you. And